I started off with this CC Design Swiss Pixie stamp image. This is Birgitta Blowing Hearts. And I inked it up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and then stamped it onto the CC Designs Copic Quality 110 pound cardstock. So as always with my Copic markers I start with skin tones so I lay down a base with my E50 and then I go in with E01 to add um, the darker areas and then E13 is my darkest very very lightly and then I blend the E13 with the E01 again sticking closer to the edges and the darker areas and then finally blending it all back together with my E50. So once I've got all of that done it's time to go in and do her cheeks so I chose R20 um, got that in place and then I blend that out again with the E50 so it's just kind of a lighter wash not like just deep circles so once I've got that done I'm going under her hair and shockingly I'm not coloring it brown so it's time to kind of step out of the box on that one so I'm doing blonde so I started with Y21 and then I'm adding some Y26 and then finally my darkest is the YR23 so once I've got all that in place I pull the YR23 up a little bit more with the Y26 and just using like short flicking motions and then finally going back in with my Y21 to blend everything together and then to add like the hair strands and a bit more dimension I'm using my YR23 again and just flicking the marker back and forth using a really light touch so just the tip of it is touching just to get fine really fine little lines to simulate hair so once I've got that it's time to go on to coloring in her clothes and I started with B000 for her shirt and then I go in with B01 and then finally B04 is my darkest and then I blend the B04 with the B01 get that blended and then I blend everything back together with the B triple zero so I've got that blended and then I go on to her pants so I start with RV 11 lay that down and then RV 32 as my middle shade and then RV 34 as the darkest and then once I've got that down I blend that back with the RV 32 and then blend everything together with the RV 11 so I've got that and then I went back in and did um, her feet. I decided I didn't really want socks, it'd just be skin color. So I just used the E01, added a little bit of E13, quickly bundled it, just done. So then for the hearts, I'm using R24. And then I filled in her shoes with reds you have to be really careful with because they're very saturated colors so they can seep and bleed easily. So I laid down R24, added a bit of R27, there was no need to blend it because they're so close in the spectrum that they just like blend into each other. And then I used W7 on the bottom of her shoes. So then for the little stool I started with W3 and then added a little bit of W5 and then very lightly added some W7 for the darkest areas and then blended that with the W5 again. And then finally blended all of that together with the W3. So once that's done, all there is left is the shadows and the shading. So I started with W1 and laid down some shadows. And then I went in with W3 and very lightly added some darker areas here and there. And then once I've got all of that down, I went back with my W00, which is the closest to clear, and just blended everything out to give it a kind of a softer look. So then for the card itself, the pattern paper I'm using is the My Mind's Eye Love Me pattern paper. So I had my layout in mind, and then I decided I wanted to frame a lot of it with black cardstock just to give it a little bit more of a pop. So the main piece um, I framed with the black cardstock. And then for the strip, I used this My Favorite Things little scallop die. So I cut some black cardstock with that and then adhered everything together. So then adhered that to the card front and then for this little square piece pattern paper I was going to frame it with another piece of black cardstock but it just ended up being way too much black and I didn't want to leave it as is because it kind of just blended into um, the other pattern paper so I just edged it with my memento tuxedo black ink 
just to give it a little bit of a border without it being completely overwhelming. So got that adhered into place and then I framed the main image with black cardstock as well. So get everything adhered together and we get to be good to go. So once that is done I go on to adding some ribbon and this is the May Arts. This is the textures ribbon. Again I don't have a source for this right now. Hopefully all that scraps will be getting this in soon. This is one of my favorite ribbons. I just love it and it's curly because I store them on um, clothespin spool type thingies. That's why and naturally it's not curly like that. So anyway um, for the sentiment, I chose these little sentiments from my Hardy Saying stamp set and just stamped them onto this scrap of pink pure wet cardstock. And I inked up the Sending You with the Memento London Fog ink and then the Lots of Love I inked up with the black ink. And then just grabbed one of my Stampin' Up! oval punches for that. And then I grabbed some Doodlebug Mini Red Brads. I wanted to add them to where the main image was and I wasn't exactly sure where I was going to put them. Um, I couldn't decide top or bottom, but then decided on the top. So then I'm just using my Stampin' Up. This is the matte and piercing template. Um, I've had it for years. Kind of a must-have thing in my opinion. So i got the brads in place. And then I still wasn't sure what I wanted to do. The sentiment just kind of seemed to be floating there on its own. So I grabbed this Cat's Pajamas um, Heart Trio die and die cut some red and black cardstock with it. And then adhered the main image to the card front. And then I kind of fiddled around for a bit. I wasn't sure what I wanted kind of the hearts to be around the sentiment. Um, couldn't decide red or black. The black seemed to be way too much, too harsh. There was enough black going on. So I got rid of that and decided to go with just the red hearts. So once I had those, I used my mono multi to adhere those into place. And then adhered the one heart, got the sentiment in place, and then adhered the solid heart below that one. So again just fiddling you know you kind of get an idea in your head but you're not sure how things will look so I ended up, ended up editing out a lot of me just sitting twiddling my fingers trying to figure out what I was going to do because otherwise this video would be three times longer. So anyway adhered the card front to the card base itself as always standard A2 size card like four and a quarter inches by five and a half and then, as always, grabbed some diamond stickles because you gotta have a little bit of bling. So blinged up the hearts and her little shoes had to be glittery because we don't want glittery red shoes. And then added some to the die cut hearts as well because, you know, I just can't stop once I start. So added a little bit to her shirt, just really lightly dabbing it on just, just for some shimmer. So then once that was done, it was time to go into the inside of the card. Kind of kept to a similar layout um, using the same pattern papers, got everything adhered into place. Just super quick and simple. And then I grabbed another sentiment from the Hardy Saying stamp set and stamped it onto that pink pure wet cardstock. And then I just used a smaller oval punch to punch that out. And then adhered that into place. And then finally I was going to use one of those die cut black hearts, but again I didn't like that. So I die cut another couple of red hearts from the red cardstock glued those into place just to finish off the inside and that's all there was to it. So got those adhered and then put this on the inside of the card and it is all done. So as always links will be in the description box below the video and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!